This is the R16 high frequency ring saw. It's specifically designed for extra deep cutting of reinforced concrete, masonry, and stone. It uses a 400 millimeter or 16 inch ring saw blade to achieve up to 300 millimeters or 11.8 inch depth of cut. To reach that depth of cut with a conventional circular blade, you would need about a 700 millimeter or 28 inch diameter blade. Our patented ring saw drive mechanism is unique in the industry, making it easier to adjust and change the blade while keeping the blade stably located when beginning the cut. The blade can be changed and adjusted in mere minutes. There is no need to disassemble the casing. The blade drive tension adjusts in one step with this central adjuster. These two guide roller adjusters only adjust the side thrust of the guide rollers. There is a tool-free cover over the drive wheel. The 6500 watt high frequency motor provides plenty of power for fast cutting and has full electronic overload and thermal protection. We use a permanent magnet synchronous motor design which is far more efficient than competitors induction motors. Higher efficiency means more power to the work surface for faster results. It is controlled by the P8K converter, which delivers 6500 watts on 380 volt three phase input. It has an LCD display with information and error codes. In cases where three phase power is not available, it can also run on 220 volt single phase input at reduced power. Using the single phase adapter cable, which will limit the power input to 16 amps or 3700 watts. If a 32 amp or larger breaker is available, it can be wired directly to the breaker for up to 5000 watts on single phase. To do this, remove the CEE plug from the converter's power supply cable, then connect the L1 brown and L2 black wires to the breaker, leaving the L3 gray wire unconnected. You must also connect the PE green yellow wire to earth. This should only be performed by a qualified electrician. Both the motor and the converter are water-cooled for efficient cooling at high power levels. This machine must always be used with water cooling. If water is not used, it will very quickly overheat and will display the E8 overheat error code. The motor connects to the converter with a special mil-spec coupling cable. Keep the covers on the couplings when not in use. The LED load warning lamp alerts the operator to load conditions. The handles are strategically designed to allow comfortable handholds for a variety of positions as needed for vertical and horizontal cuts. The spring-loaded lower splash guard follows the contour of the work surface and helps with slurry containment. It has a rounded rear edge to avoid catching when cutting in a backward direction. There's a clip to fix it in the upward position if needed. The upper blade guard is also spring-loaded and has rollers for smooth operation. It has an over-center spring to lock it open when needed. To mount and adjust the blade, loosen the thumb screw and slide open the cover plate. Loosen both guide roller adjusters all the way. Slacken the drive tension adjuster, but leave enough clearance between the drive wheel and the water plate. Fit the blade with the grooves facing down toward the left side guide rollers and engage the grooves. Make sure that the blade is centered. If it is installed crooked, rapid wear will result. Fit the drive wheel onto the spindle with the taper facing out. Then the flange, align, and tighten the screw using the face spanner and T-handle wrench. To adjust the guide roller thrust, turn the adjuster until all slack is taken up. Finally tighten just until the blade does not slip on the roller, then tighten a further 1 8 turn. Do not over tension it, that would only give unnecessary load to the motor. Repeat for the other guide roller. To adjust the drive tension, tighten just until the blade does not slip on the drive wheel, then tighten a further 1 quarter turn. Do not over tension it. If it slips in operation due to drive wheel wear, simply tighten it a small amount at a time, just enough to keep it from slipping. 